Hello everyone! Welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Look what I'm doing today. I am so nervous, you guys. So I got a custom order in. This one is for you, Lori. She ordered four custom um, coasters, Crystal Edge 3 ounce. That's not the problem. The problem is she wanted blooms done and I'm like, oh no, not blooms. I'm so scared to do blooms for people. So I sucked it up, I put my big girl panties on, and I'm going to do four bloom coasters at the same time. And let's pray they came out like the last one that came out absolutely beautiful for Dawn. I loved those. And she also ordered uh, seven spoons. These little guys that I've been making with some extra resin. And her color palette, she wants teal and purple in the bloom. And she wants teal, purple, and hot pink in the spoons. So I'm going to make the spoons separately. I might even make them tomorrow because right now it's like 1130 at night. I'm just starting a video, you guys. My day has been crazy. But Don did not tell me that I got a package in the mail today. I got happy mail. Come to my house. And it was just like sitting here with a couple other things. And I'm like, what is this? So I look at the box and Barbara Valente, you've heard her name many times. She sent me some more packages. So let me show you what she sent to me. And this is something new to me. I did not know what this was. So I had to open it and it said air cushion magic. And I can't read the rest because of the label. So I'm opening it up and I'm like, what is this? Well, it's you probably all know what it is, but it looks like a little mica powder dab pencil thingy. Almost like a makeup would be, but I'm thinking you can paint your molds with this. So that is super cool. I can't wait to use this. So thank you, Barbara. Actually, Barbara told me that um, all of her family members all put something in the box for me. So they all picked something out and um, they are super cute. So I'm going to bring this stuff over to show you. So somebody picked out some turtles and they sent me this little decal, but also these cute little earrings. These are so adorable. Little turtle earrings, you guys. So those came with this little turtle mold. And then there's a little extras mold that I'm gonna put in my bin of extras, two leaves. So that is always handy. And then I opened up this little guy I think it's a dog. I'm not sure. He's got a little, a bit, a little, a big snout, little eyes, and a little body. And I think these go with it because it was in the same bag. So it's like um a little set of wings. So that's going to be super cute. And this would be great for extras too when I have like, I don't know, maybe an ounce and a half and I don't know what to do with it. We're probably going to be using this a lot. And I can give these away. So thank you, Barbara. I also got this one, which looks like a little cow head. Well, it's not so little. It's pretty big. It's the size of my hand. So we're going to fill him up and try him. Another mold she gave me is this crown. And you know what? It's a trinket tray. Here's the lid. And this is a crown. That is super cute. I've never seen this one before. So there are little inlays here that we can do something with, if possible. Otherwise, we'll fill it in after the fact. Those things always make me nervous because, one, they're time-consuming, or they just blend in. But we're going to try. We're going to make a little crown. And the most exciting thing in that box, she heard me say I did not have one of these. This is so cute, and I am so happy to get this because I have extra resin here sitting here. I have like two or three different resin bottles with extra resin in them and I was going to use this to make my own pigment paste. So if you didn't see that video on how to make your own pigment paste, this would have came in so handy that day and I did not have one. Thank you so much, Barbara. This is like sitting here forever to remind me to get my pigment paste made because I really need to get to do that. So, without further ado, I am going to mix up two ounces for each one, and I'll use some of it for white. So, two, four, six, eight ounces of my Fast Cure by Let's Resin. I am going to put it through my vacuum chamber to get all those bubbles out because I think that's the secret to a beautiful bloom is getting all your bubbles out of this, this thick resin. And then we're going to drop our inks. 
get her white in, and pray to God that these come out beautiful for her. So let's get started. That's so cool. I never get tired of watching that. So I did split it up just so it would debubble faster. And I did forget to mention to tell you that she wanted the heaven glitter to back the four coasters. So I think those are going to be absolutely stunning if they come out right. Now she said if I had extra that she was in love with my crystal white unicorn art mica powder and that she liked my teardrop pendant. So if I had extra that that's what she would want made. Well, right before she sent that email, I had to throw that mold away because I had used it hundreds of times and it finally, the last time I demolded it, this little piece here at the top pulled out of all of them. So now I have to reorder that mold, but I have this smaller one that I got from Michael's a long time ago and this one has not been used as much. So instead of waiting for extra, I'm literally just going to take a little bit out because I want her to have that. And I'm just going to mix up. We're not going to miss this from the coasters. So I'm going to make sure we have extra. So this is only at 30 degrees Celsius. We need it to be at 34 to 33 to 34. So that's going to take some time. So in the meantime, I'm going to get this mixed up. This pretty white, not over the coaster molds. And we're gonna get her a couple pendants made. I think she wants starfish on them. I will have to reread the email, but I'm pretty sure she wants the starfish on it. I hope I'm not misinterpreting that. So let's just get this gorgeous white mica powder that is ever so sparkly. I'm gonna put just a tad for, for a little bit of extra sparkle make sure it's perfect and get that poured into those this is not very much at all but it's even probably too much for these two little molds because i do cover them with my uv resin once they're cured so i could put the little um, starfish on or whatever charm i choose for that particular one so this is yes it is enough for both of them actually it's like perfect So those should be cured by tomorrow so we can finish those up and um, I'm just going to check the resin. See, I probably have another 10, 15 minutes. It's almost at 32, 31 and a half. So I will put a few things away and come back as soon as it's ready. Okay, you guys, they just reached temperature. I'm so nervous. So they're 33 and a half degrees which is, I think, 92 Fahrenheit, 92 and a half. So yeah, 33 and a half, 92 and a half, whatever one you're looking at. So now is the time you're just going to dump it in your mold and get your alcohol inks in there. I see these molds are hanging off the... I'm trying to make the molds where you can see them in the video, but... They're hanging off my glass piece here. So I do need to fix them, unfortunately. You might not be able to see all four of them. But I don't want any wonky flowers, especially for an order. So I might have to sacrifice a little bit of your view. Let's see what I can do here. That's better. These are, you know, bigger molds than the normal coaster mold, so they do take up a little more space. All right, now I'm going to pour these in, but I have to save some for my white. I'm using Ocean White by Let's Resin for my white. Mm -hmm. 
And I see a piece of glitter already where it's not supposed to be. So always have something handy to get bits out. All right, I'm just gonna torch these and get my alcohol inks in there. That one's the worst because I was scraping and when you scrape your resin into there, it uh, makes bubbles. So I have Picasso for the purple. It's the lightest purple I could find. And then my Let's Resin. This is the teal color that I think she's looking for. Now, the difference in the two is I'm not crazy about the Picasso ones. They don't spread as nicely. Uh, the Let's Resin ones do beautiful in this alcohol, or alcohol, in this uh, resin. This one just has extra bubbles. So I think I'm gonna keep the purple to the center. I may end up swirling it. We'll see how it reacts. So just get your colors in. And then we'll mix up our white. It's actually, it's not doing too bad today. Make sure you mix them well before you start dropping them. You want them uniform. I'm gonna do the same technique as I did for the last set just because that's probably why she ordered them because she liked the way they came out. So since I know that those random crazy swirls worked, I'm going to continue on with those for hers too. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more purple in. All right, let's just let that work for a little bit while I mix up my white. Now you're gonna take your white just past transparent. I do like one drop at a time on my stick just to kind of control it a little bit better than dropping it in my, my resin. And then we'll fix anything we gotta fix before we start piping. That looks pretty close to good. I think I'm gonna just do one half drop like that. And I need to wipe my stick off. It's pretty sticky, no pun intended. My stick is sticky, you get it? <laughs> I know, it's late at night. Get that mixed up nicely. That looks pretty good. That's about what I'm looking for. Let's check our inks. I'm just gonna drop a few more drops. I don't want it too huge because I know she wants to see some of the, the glitter in the background. So I'm just gonna get my white into a piping bag over here. I'm not gonna do a super thin line because I find that the thinner the line, the less it's going to spread because there's not a lot of pigment in there. And I'm going to torch one last time, although I don't see any bubbles. But I want to make sure. Get any 
little floaters out that you see because that will interrupt it'll interrupt the bloom I don't know where they came from all right so I'm just going to twist this really tight so it doesn't come out the back while I'm working with it I'm gonna cut off the back of my bag to make it easier to handle and uh, here goes nothing you guys going to test a little piece of the white see how thick it is oh yeah that's pretty good are you ready oh my goodness I get so nervous on these so I just do I hope I mixed enough white and then I went like this And I'm just going to repeat it. Gosh, I hope I have enough white. Watch, I'll be short just the amount I used in her pendants. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Not really, but. Oh my gosh, I'm so low. I'm gonna squash this down. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to take a dotting tool, paper towel. First, I want a torch because I've created bubbles that I do not want on there. That's also going to heat the resin for me. So I go from 12, 6, 9, and 3. And then have all of that. And then swirl my center. And start praying. Starting to bloom already, so that's a good sign. I hope all the purple doesn't go away. Right. there are no extras right now and I made more bubbles okay now I'm just gonna walk away but it looks like it's starting to pull in so let's just pray this works
I went ahead and mixed up my regular casting resin for her spoons. So I did color it and put it through the vacuum chamber. No problem, all the bubbles are gone. So if she wanted the teal at the top, the purple in the middle, and the pink at the bottom. So let's hope I mix enough. I mixed up three ounces. So I think I'm just gonna do one section at a time. Now she wants seven of them. Whoops. All right, and the purple in the center. I'm gonna just go ahead and pour them all and then just go back and pour some more. Of course, they're gonna move on me, so I'm gonna do the best I can. Maybe I'll pour them together. Yeah, trying, I'm trying to get it right. The blue's moving on me. And go back and get some more green or teal in. Well, she wanted alcohol inks because she likes the effect that the colors make together. But they are going to spread, so there are no promises how they work out on their own in the end. I have a feeling I'm going to end up losing some of this. So these are all gonna be different. All right, so here's the spoons. I did take a dotting tool and kind of try to blend the top, but Looks like it's gonna do its own thing. There's not a whole lot I can do to keep them separated from each other. And here's the blooms so far. They are blooming nicely, I see. I know there's a glare on here, but I hope you can see something. So, I have a good feeling about these. I just hope there's enough purple in there for you. All right, now we wait. It is the next morning and it's time to back coat these things. They look good. I'm excited to turn them over. She has asked to use my favorite glitter to back them, which is called Heaven. So I've mixed up five ounces of my normal casting resin and I don't put it through the debubbler when I put glitter in there because you won't be able to see them. So I'm just gonna mix in a whole bunch of glitter and get them poured on. I will be using the heat mat today just so I can speed things up a little bit and it won't ruin the effect or anything. 
you just don't want to add heat to something that you want moving like the bloom was moving so I didn't want to add heat to it to stop the movement now some people have asked what I have my silicone mat on um, basically I have the heat or the my heat mat on I have a silicone mat on top of my counter then I have the heat mat and then the silicone mat that came with it I've ruined it's just was I couldn't fix it and it was all bubbled so I got rid of that and I bought a piece of tempered glass to put over the heat mat so it'll keep it completely flat so that's how I layer mine um, I don't have any problems with it I do cover my stuff when I have the heat mat on just to hold the heat in and make it go quicker so I'm just going to pack this one full. I'm hoping this was the best choice because I'm not sure how well we're gonna see the white petals with an opal background, but we will find out on D-Mold. They should only hold about one ounce each. Like I said, these are the three ounce ones, but they may not have been filled exactly the same. Gonna split the rest between these two and we'll be good. So it did take all five. So I guess, well, I did use some white. That's why it took the extra ounce. So I didn't use two in each one when I poured them, I guess. All right, they are perfect. Just put a little in here. And then we will demold everything at the same time as soon as these are done. It is time for unmolding, you guys, but let me show you the extras. So I had a little bit of pink left, so I made two little bows, pink and purple, and I put a magnet on the back. And then here's the final result for the little pendants. Super sparkle white. And then the spoons, I took them out of the mold and I was gonna put the uh, magnets on, so I put two magnets on. And what happened was, because of the alcohol ink, it was transparent. You could see the magnet right through each side and the glue. And I'm like, nope, don't like that. So I went ahead and I backed them in white because I knew that would not take away from the color of the spoons. So that, they're all pretty similar. Um, no big changes between any of them. I still have to put the magnets on. They're just uh, coming out of the curing machine. I mean, they're a little bit different, but you know, the same thing. So I will go ahead and throw magnets on all of those. And now for the main event. I'm always nervous, especially when it's an order. Oh, that's pretty good. Now, I kind of thought that the white was going to get washed out a little bit because of the background, but I do like the background. It's really, really sparkly. And the bloom came out nice. I'm really happy with the petals. Try to get close for you. I like the swirl on the center. And so there is more purple than I expected because from the back, it looked like the purple had gone to nothing, but it ended up on the front. So there's the first. Let's hope they're all about the same. Yep. Nice little swirl in the center. 
petals came out good. If it was a darker background, you probably would have seen the white petals a little bit more. Very pretty, very pretty. I'm happy with them. Why is it when I do orders, they come out almost perfect, and then when I'm messing around, they kind of don't? Oh, that one's pretty. Look at that swirl. I love that one. Really, really pretty. It looks like it's kind of opening up there. Oh, I hope you're happy with them. I do. One more. Oh, yeah. Really happy. I know you guys don't hear me say that much. Let me know what y'all think. Did she make good choices for her colors? I'm sure she'll be reading all of your comments too. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. I will see you all tomorrow. Stay tuned. I'm going to get you a couple final pictures of these close up. And I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.